it is Monday, January 23, 20, January 23rd. That's strange. Yes, January, maybe it was because of the overlap with the 2023. It is January 23, 2023. How about that? And I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday puzzle today, so we should have a nice, gentle uh, crossword to help us ease into the solving week. That's generally how it goes on Monday. And this um, gentle introduction to the solving week has been brought to us by Camtron, Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in bringing us this series this channel and today's video in particular. So thank you to the five of them. If you'd like to join their ranks as a benefactor and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can of course find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video. And um, by doing so, you can, by going to that link, you can also get all of the um, bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And that's not just your, if you're a benefactor, but if you sign up to become a patron at any level. So thank you to everybody who has done that. Um, recently, we've had um, two, just in the past week, two acrostic puzzles and several uh, mini puzzle speed solve catch up videos. So lots of things going up there recently. Um, you can also, in another link in the description field, join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. Nice friendly chat community. And um, it's a nice place. All right. Thank you to everybody who's done any of those things. Do also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not done so. And having said all that, I'm going to get on to today's puzzle. So this was constructed by Adrian Johnson. I think like yesterday's constructor, this is his second crossword. And it was edited, second crossword for the Times anyway. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, shall we? House overhang, the eve of a house. And hello, 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 effect is an echo. There we go, we have an echo represented textually. Well, aren't you clever, you might ask. Yes, we're going to solve this crossword. We are clever. Holy shoe could be a croc, one of those sort of plastic, um, sort of claw, plastic clog looking shoes full of holes. Alessandro, who invented the electric battery, oh, Volta. Alessandro Volta, hence... Um, uh, volt, the unit. Pretty sure it's Volta. Heaven's opposite would be hell, of course. And high-level cover-up. High-level cover-up, question mark. High-level. Why don't I see what that is? If one's not delayed, one is on time. Oh, an eclipse. Right, I see. Very clever. So, it's a cover-up of the sun or the moon um, very high up in the in the cosmos, I suppose. Device with rewind and fast-forward functions. Um, device with rewind and fast-forward functions. A tape recorder? Right, there we go. Took me a moment for some reason. And if something's passable at best, you could maybe respond to it with a meh. I think that's probably the answer. Uh, aid for squeezing into a tight piece of footwear, a shoehorn. I highly recommend shoehorns. If, if this is something that you find annoying, if you have shoes that are that are difficult to sort of just slip into, I know it seems ridiculous, but it's really handy having a shoehorn around. All right, to make a mistake is to err. And country between Nigeria and Equatorial Guinea. Um, Cameroon. There we go. That took me a moment. Oops. Cameroon. Okay. Science class that might have controlled explosions. Um, what science? I don't know. Physics class? What would you be? What science class would have that? I'm not sure offhand. Oh, chemistry. Right. Of course. That makes sense. You could mix chemical compounds and create a small explosion. Shade of color is a hue. Prediction of a flight tracker app for short. Here's the classic. Could be estimated time of arrival or estimated time of departure. I guess if you're tracking a flight, more likely to be estimated time of arrival, but it could be either. Five for the set, two, four, six, eight. Um, five would be the mean of that set. In other words, the, the mathematical average. So if you added these up um, and divided by the number of elements in the set, you'd get the mean, which is five. I guess we couldn't there, we couldn't really usefully 
obtain a mode or a median from this set. Uh, there's no sort of middle number, and there's no most common number. Okay, African mammal that's resistant to snake venom, a mongoose, the uh, storied nemesis of the snake. And a camera setting for novice photographers would be auto, so the exposure and, um, uh, you know, shutter speed and everything is automatically set. World Cup cheers could be Olay's. Jellied fish in some British pies. Jellied eel is a classic, classic um, British pie filling. And um, number of sh uh, sort of traditional pie shops in London that sell uh, jellied eel pies. I've, I read an article a little while back. It's, it's greatly declined. There are very few of them remaining. Enjoy as gum. It's a chew gum. True or false on a true-false test, it would be an answer, of course. There we go. Crystal-filled rocks or geodes. I remember those for some reason looming large in childhood imagination. What a terrible, awful idea. Oh, God, no. That's, that's plausible. I think that works. To look at someone rudely is to ogle that person. Cartoon brother of Dewey and Louie, right? Huey, Dewey, and Louie are the um, are they the the sort of nephews of Scrooge? I think of of, Ebony, of not Ebenezer Scrooge, but um, uh, that's obviously the Dickens character. Well, whatever the Duck Scrooge's name is, I don't remember his name. Okay, to be philanthropic is to give uh, money or financial or other resources. A tour leader could be a guide. A bar used on a fulcrum could be a lever or a lever. Blinkers or peepers are your eyes, idiomatically. So there we go. All right. Extreme point in the Arctic or Antarctic could be one of the, the poles, the North or South Pole. And a store sign displayed from 9 to 6, say, they may well be the opening hours of a store, so open. And when you see this say, it means this is just an example of the thing. Obviously, a store could have completely different opening hours to this, but... Um, but, you know, you could say these are, this is an example of it. So-called master gland of the endocrine system. Is it the pituitary? Um, I wasn't aware of the, the phrase master gland, but this would be my guess. Promise in front of a judge. I am, if a judge says, are you something, you could say I am, your honor, maybe. Probably other possibilities there. It could be I do. Revises as an essay. Right, it is I do. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is referring to a judge serving as your marriage officiant. I don't know. Or it could just be answering a question from a judge. Okay, so it revises as an essay or edits is, edits the essay. A nine-person combo is a nonette. As in, a, you could have a jazz combo, a nine-person jazz band. Um, that's bigger than I would call a combo. I'd probably call that an ensemble, but it doesn't really matter. Have dinner at home it could be to eat in. Official with a whistle could be a ref. This looks like flute. Oh, right. I haven't even been thinking about the, the theme. So advice to me. No, sorry. Glass frequently used for toasting the New Year's. A champagne flute. Here we go. Oh, I see. Recorder. Oh, recorder, horn, flute. So we're having wind instruments. Right. Okay. And so what is this one? Advice to musician with a 23, 26, or 43 across. So advice to musician with a tape recorder, shoehorn, or champagne flute. Um, I don't know, something that maybe blow something. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll have to we'll have to get there with some crosses. Marketing spiel could be a pitch. You could uh, be pitching a product with a spiel. Largest city in Nebraska could be Omaha, Nebraska. Neighborhood spot for cheap booze is a local pub in bar local dive that would be the cheap booze part so maybe it is the local dive if that makes sense those others don't necessarily imply cheap unsaid yet understood could be a tacit if it was a sort of uh, tacit understanding okay atp sports organization for nadal and jokovic jokovic um so those are tennis players don't think i know enough about kind of a tennis governing bodies or what have you to, to know what this is, but it 
must be the answer, I think. Okay, sounds good to me. I'm on board. I'm happy. I'm two quarters is a half. So I'm fine. I'm <laughs> I don't know why I can't say this. Let's we'll keep solving. Pretentious could be artsy, maybe. And the gift of gab, a loquacious person. Zero in a soccer result could be nil. Cain's eldest son was, I want to say Enoch. Does that work with this? Wet forecast, yes, wet forecast rain. So what is this? Don't blow, don't blow it. Oh, I, I see. I see, because in fact, you don't blow on a tape recorder, a shoehorn, or a champagne flute. None of those would achieve anything. So the musician might get so carried away by holding some sort of recorder, horn, or flute that they, they're just compelled to expel air onto this onto this object. Bad idea. Pointless. Don't blow it. Sounds good to me. I'm for it. There we go. That's what it is, presumably. Tiny faults are nits. You could pick nits, point out common faults, or it's tiny faults, I mean. Egyptian counterpart of Hades and Pluto. Oh, Osiris, the lord of the underworld. So we had the, the Greek and Roman varieties, and then here the... I guess Hades and Pluto are essentially the same god, and then in this case it's sort of a different one, but the, the equivalent serving the equivalent role. So aged, aged is old, and catch my drift, see, catch my drift. Lack of seriousness about a serious situation could be levity. And juicy bits of info are deets, the details. If one deals from the bottom or marks cards, say one cheats. Not meant to do those things. Yay is hooray, I think, or hurrah, could be either one. Let's look at the downs. Excuse me, this is a library, right? Okay, it is indeed hurrah, because the library needs a shushing. Future therapist's major, for short, is psych, psychology, one would think. And I think we have one cell remaining. So, um, capital of Africa's largest country and the meat of the matter. Is this right? Capital of Africa's largest country. Um, I guess, do I not know this city? Wouldn't, surely it would be, Alg oh, it would be Algiers. Her oh, oh, meet decisively and formally. Oh, I see, I just, this is all wrong. It's not hurrah, it's hurrah, H-U-R-R-A-H. This is Algiers, the capital of Algeria, and the meat of the matter is the gist. There we go. Okay, I was very confused for some reason. I was thinking maybe it was going to be Al something, um, but... I just didn't recognize it. Okay. So meet of the, I was thinking it was going to be a different city name that I didn't know is what I was saying, but nope, it was Algiers. And there we go. All right. So that was the crossword. And indeed, I think, um, generally speaking, a nice gentle solve for Monday. Oh, and I've only just noticed we have a, we, we have a vertically, a, a, a symmetry about a vertical axis. So, in other words, if you folded this puzzle along an imagined vertical line halfway through the grid, it would uh, the black cells would be would sort of match in their their disposition. And I, is this meant to be a sort of face with a, a mouth, maybe sort of a puckered mouth preparing to play some sort of wind instrument? I'm not sure. I can't tell if it's meant to be that or if it's just sort of arbitrary. It looks like it maybe is to me. I don't know. Let me know what you think. In any case, we uh, were warning our musician friend here not to blow it when it comes to either the tape recorder, the shoehorn, or the champagne flute. So a nice, simple Monday theme, of course, could be solved. Um, the individual clues could be solved as normal, and in fact are. They make no reference to the theme, but the, the revealer does rely on it. It doesn't say something, so, you know, it might say something ordinarily like, um, you know, an encouragement or, or a sort of <laughs> threatening encouragement to a, to a performer or something, don't blow it, but, or advice to a musician with a blank, blank, blank. But no, in this case, it only refers directly to the clues themselves. Um, so there we go. A nice, a nice Monday puzzle, nice and straightforward for the most part, a few tricky, uh, tricky crosses here and there, but in general, I think, uh, in line with Monday, let me know if you agree and how you found the theme and the broader puzzle. And 
And there we have it. That was the Monday crossword. I'll be back tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, which should be another relatively gentle solve. So join me for that as well. Until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Uh-huh.